Welcome to another Dr. Spotify quick tip video. My name is Jose Levi Aguirre from the data science team here at Spotfire. And today I'm going to show you how to create a custom panel flyout similar to those that you see here on the canvas. You have this uh, visualization canvas, you have the data function uh, flyout. So we're going to create custom flyout, this one that you see right here. And I'm going to show you how that works. So here I have the analyzing stock performance is one of the samples that you can find here in the library It's the analyzing stock perf performance. So what I'm going to do is put a flyout here instead of this text area with a bunch of controls that allow me to change the settings or select stocks or whatever. But what I'm going to do is uh, have that panel so we can save some real estate. So for that, I already have an article in the community. Uh, all you have to do is follow along. This is the article, JavaScript driver flyer custom panel for Tipco Spotfire. I'm gonna put the link down below this video. And the first thing we're gonna do is just copy this, the HTML part. And well, before I proceed, let me show you how it works. Basically, all you have to do is put this top part and then put the contents of your control here in this area and then wrap it up. So, you all, all you have to do is copy the first three lines and then go to the edit HTML area of your text area. And then at the very beginning, I'm going to add those three lines and I'm going to close that div. I'm going to copy this one here and close that div that this one belongs to the first one. So now I have wrapped all my controls here. So when I save it, nothing is going to happen. It's just going to, to have this uh, X and this open close drawer. So if the JavaScript for some reason doesn't work, it doesn't matter. You still have functionality. So the next part is just to add the JavaScript. So I'm going to create a new JavaScript. Click new. And then I am going to, uh, well, I like to copy the URL, call it panel.js, and then going to copy the entire scripts. And this should take care of everything else. So when I click OK and click OK, now you'll see the panel on the right. You can close it and then you can open it and close it with this open close drawer. See? Okay, very good. Now, if I want the, the drawer to open on the left side of the screen, then I just change this parameter to left. And now it's open to the left. Now I can change this trigger, this toggle drawer trigger with something else. So for example, if I don't want to have this text, I just replace it with a symbol and maybe I can also add some styling. Uh, well, let's see how it works. And I close it and now I have this little arrow. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it to the, to the right. I'm going to keep it to the right. And then I'm just going to add uh, a little style here. So when I put my mouse, it doesn't stay as this cursor. It's just going to change to a little arrow so you, you know it's clickable. So now you can open and close. There's another setting I want to show you, which is when you change maybe the visualization uh, canvas style to, uh, to light, the drawer is going to remain the drawer is going to remain uh, black, but this is easy to change. So this is another parameter. This is the background. I can put the hexadecimal color to white, or I can just uh, put a name color in this case, white, or let's say green, and then it will change to that color. That's ugly, but let's keep it white. And now you can just uh, place, play with the drawer uh, as you would and it's scrollable of course and and that's it thanks for watching please like and subscribe and keep the comments and feedback coming 
Go to the ideas portals where you can submit Dr. Spotfire Live topics, which are held the first Tuesday of every month. Submit new visualizations ideas, product improvement, white papers, templates, or examples that you would like to see. Remember to use the Spotfire community for questions and answers, and don't miss out the TAF, the analytics forum in September. It's gonna last three days of interesting topics, followed by four hours free Spotfire training and Spotfire hackathon. See you next time.